Hi and welcome. In this session, I will be demonstrating how to use network policies in OpenShift. Network policies are essential for controlling traffic flow between pods, enhancing security and ensuring proper network segmentation. Using them helps to control which pod is allowed to communicate with another pod. In this demo, we will build a microservice using the Springboard framework and create a Docker image from it. This image will then be deployed twice in OpenShift to set up two microservices. We will also configure services to manage input and output communication and enable the microservices to communicate with each other. By default, pods can communicate with each other without restriction. And we will see how to control this behavior using network policies. So let's have a look on our microservice. It is based on Springboard framework. It consists of two REST controllers. The first one exposing this endpoint with the get mapping. And as you see, it is calling this remote service. And this one is only a fine client. And the URL we pass as environment variable, the service name of the other pod. So this is just calling this endpoint and I am implementing this REST controller in the same application and it is just displaying the name of the application and the name of the application is passed as environment variable. At this way I will use the same image to create two different ports that communicate with each other to demonstrate our network's policies. So this is the first deployment file, nothing special. This is the name of the application and this is the image. We will see how to create it and deploy it on OpenShift. And as you can see here, we pass the service name as environment variable. So this one is the second service name for the other port. And here we create in the same file, we create the service and you see the selector is this application and we are also passing the application name as environment variable and this is the second one do the same image and here we pass the other microservice name at this way as already said with the same image we will deploy to different ports that communicate with each other and to create the docker image i'm using this standard docker file so this is the base image. I create this work there. I copy the jar file inside it and run the application using this command. So let's create the image. So using this command docker build and we give it this name. So let's run. And as you see, image has been created. So now to push the image on our OpenShift image registry, we need to give it a tag. So we need to tag our image as this is required by OpenShift using this command, tag microservice latest. And this is the name of our registry. And this one is the namespace and this is the image name. So let's create a tag. So the tag has been created. We can check in on our cluster. So we see that there is no image stream. So now let's push the image using this command, docker push. And this is the full tag of our image. Let's push. So as you see it has been pushed, we can check again here. And as you see, the image has been pushed. So now using the two deployment files, as you can see in our project, we don't have any deployment. Let's create or deploy the two application. So first, so this is the command to run the first deployment. As you see, deployment has been applied. And now we do the same for the second file has been created we can check here so we have now two deployments now let's check the ports so the first microservice has been deployed we can have a look here on the ports so both are running and we can check the services here so i define it two services so the first port will access the second one through this service and the second port through this service so let's make port forwarding to do a test 
let's say get service so we will forward this service on this host port from AT to this host port so let's run uh, because the name is one service one so now it is enabled and we will open a new terminal to forward the second one so i will forward the second service to this port here on my local machine so let's do the test has been forwarded and in the browser so if we call this application as you see this is the first application first microservice calling the second one so this information comes from the fine client and let's see the second one so the second microservice calling the first one so the name of the microservice is passed as environment variable so as you see by default each pods can communicate with other pods without any restriction so what we will do now is to have more control on this behavior so for that i created this network policy this one so of type network policy and you give a name for it in which namespace it is applied and here specification so port selector so i am just allowing the communication from this port with this label from so english is from this one this is the second ports and we specify ports allowed here so let's apply this one we can check in the ui whether we have any network policy so as you see in our project there is no network policy so let's apply this one using the otse command And as you see, network policy has been created. We can check that here. So this is our network policy. And now this should still work. So if we click, it is running. However, this one should be disallowed. So let's run. And as you see, it is running, running until reaching the timeout. We get this 500 error timeout and expected. And we can see this as well in the log project ports the log of the first one or the second one sorry as you see here so we get time connect time out so using the network policy you can control which ports can communicate with the other so if enabled you will get a time out connection so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and bye